Father? What is it? What are those men doing over there in the field? Sam, are you done clearing the rocks off the lower field? Yes, sir. I break a spike on the harrow. It's your hide, son. Father. Leave the dump cart there like I told you? Yes, sir. Look here, Father. I want to know what those men are doing over there in the field, and I'm going to know. I wish you'd go into the house, Mother, and tend your own affairs. I'm not going back in the house until you tell me what those men are doing over there. Okay, boy, come on around now. Come on. Adam? Adam? What? I want to know, what are those men doing in the field? in a foundation, I suppose, if you had to know. A foundation for what? A barn. A barn? You're not going to build a barn where we plan to have our house. Come on, let's go. Sammy. Sammy Penn, I know you hear me. Wait right there. How long have you known about this barn? About three months, I guess. I'm late for school. Why didn't you tell me? I didn't think it would do any good. Is your father going to buy some more cows? Ma, I got to be going. Sammy? I want you to tell me, is your father going to buy some more cows? I suppose he is. Four more cows? But mother, you're already out there milking two hours, morning and night. How can father expect Hush you to... now, Nanny. That's enough. It's going to be like this all spring and half the summer, too, isn't it? Right up to my wedding. Your father wants another barn. But, Mother, we don't even have a decent house. Keep your hands nice. We've been pretty comfortable here. Roof don't leak. Just but once, your father's kept it shingled up right. Good many this morning. Your father has a good appetite. I do wish we had a parlor. I guess it don't hurt George Eastman none to come call on you in a nice clean kitchen. Nobody's ever heard me complain. I'm not complaining. And you better not. You have a good father and a good home. Nanny, lots of girls have to work for a living. Mother, I was just asking if you think it's right, that's all. What do we need another barn for? You haven't found out that we're just women folks, Nanny. We only know what men folks think we do, so far as any use of it goes. If you're smart, you'll reckon men folks in with Providence. And not complain about what they do any more than the weather. But Mother, George isn't like that. We'll see. Just because he's a teacher don't mean he's different than any other man. And you had not to judge your father. He can't help it. He don't see things just the way that we do. Mother will like mince. Mother, make cherry. 
You put up all those chairs last summer and we haven't had them but one time. Please, Mother. What's all this fuss about a cherry pie? I just thought the cherry would be nice for a change. Nanny, I have been married more than half my life, so I know. When your husband's got a taste for something, it's your duty to give it to him. You'll understand when you've been married. Mother, I think I do understand. George likes cherry pie. The Lord make us truly thankful. Um, Amen. Send Sammy out. He's gone off to school early. What'd you let him do that for, Mother? That boy's got chores. It's the last day, Father. I thought he'd like a little extra time with his friends. You don't see him asking me. He knows he's got chores. I gotta get this unloaded and go for gravel for two. I want to see you a minute, Father. I can't leave this lumber, Mother, no how. Adam. 
You come here. real plain to you, Father. I never have since I married you. I've never complained, and I won't now. But I'm going to talk plain to you. This is all the buttery that I've had for 19 years. Only place for my pans, dishes, and vittles. I've been taking care of the milk of six cows in here. And now you're going to build a new barn, buy four more cows, and give me more work to do in this small space? I want to know. Do you think that's right? I ain't got nothing to say about it. Those stairs over there go up to two unfinished chambers that are all your children have had to sleep in all of their lives. There's not a prettier, more ladylike girl in the whole town than Nanny, nor a boy as strong and fine as Sammy. And they haven't got places so warm and tight to sleep as the horses in their stalls. Now, I want to know, do you think that's fair? I told you I ain't got nothing to say, Mother. I ain't gonna say nothing. Take a look at this room, Father. It's, it's never even had a carpet on the floor. No new paper on the walls for 10 years. Even then, I hung it myself. It only cost nine pence a roll. This is all the room that Nanny's got to have her company in. Not one of her friends doesn't have better, and their father's not so able as you. This is all the room she's got to be married in. What would you have thought if we were married in a room no better than this? Remember our wedding? My mother's parlor. Stuffed furniture and real silk on the lampshades. I want you to take a look at the bedroom over there. Our bedroom, the small space where I bore all of our children. The two that's living and the two that died. Now, if we don't have this new house, what's to become of Nanny after she marries? She'll have to go and live somewhere else, away from us, and I cannot have it so. Nanny weren't ever strong, you know that. I took the heft of everything off of her. She's not fit to keep a house. Think of her doing all the cooking and cleaning and sewing. With those delicate white hands, she'll be worn out in a year, and I can't have it so, Father. I married you right there in that field. You was gonna build me a new house before the year was out. It's 19 years now, and I've watched you putting up sheds and building one new barn after another. How's in your bloody beast better than your own flesh and blood? I haven't said anything, Adam. But I'm asking you now, please, please, won't you think it over? Please build me that house you promised instead of this barn. You got nothing to say. Come on. Adam.
know, son, women folk don't always figure on crops doing poorly, animals getting sick, rain that don't come. That's why the Lord made men folk to do their thinking for them. Ain't always easy. Were you at the store all this time? I went over to the schoolhouse to see George. And we took a walk. I see. Mother, I'll just die if I have to have my wedding in this room. I'd be ashamed to have George's folks come here. Well, maybe we can put up some new paper by then. You won't have any call to be ashamed. For all the good new paper will do, we might as well have the wedding in the new barn. Mother? Women folk forever fussing over nothing. The way you work, Father, seems plain to me. It's the Lord's will you keep all your fingers. Mother, will you leave that and come to bed? Give me your hand. And don't make a fuss. Am I hurting you, Adam? Not likely you don't hurt me no ways. Can't be too careful. Even when it's not intentional. What gets hurt won't ever be the same.
I don't know, but what I'd better go. I guess Rufus and the others can get along without me three, four days. Of course, I hate going off right in the middle of ham. On the other hand, I can't get a horse around here to suit me no how. And your brother's got wind of a Belgian supposed to be good. Then again, I was gonna move the stock to the new barn tomorrow. But I gotta get me uh, another animal for hauling this fall. I guess I better go. Hiram say anything about the folks? You understand me, son? Yes, sir. I pitched the hay first thing. When the cows get here, me and Rufus drive them into the new barn, like you said. Good boy. No finer woman than your mother, Sammy. I reckon you're right, Father. Or if there's times, she's a touch stubborn. You know, son, when I was just about your age, my father left me with the women folk watching after my mother and sisters. Well, he went off and got himself killed. Except that was a whole nother thing, what with the war and all. Point is, nothing's gonna happen to me. But if the Lord willed it so, it's your duty to take care of your mother. Hear me? Yes, sir. I'll be back by sundown Monday. Sammy here knows what to do while I'm gone. And don't forget, there's something in this basket for Hiram and the folks. You be careful. Don't you put the hay in that new barn. I want you to put it in the old one. Why, Miss Penn, your husband told us to put it in the new one. That's the truth, Mother. Is there room enough in the old barn? Room enough, Miss Penn. Reckon you didn't need the new barn know how far as room goes. But Father told me... Sammy, you come down here now. I suppose your father changed his mind. If we should go on, put it in there. It'll be all right, Sammy. You come on into supper. With your father gone, that's all I'm serving today. When you get through, I want you to help me. Do what, Mother? You'll see. Nanny, if you're through, go on upstairs and pack your things. Sammy, you can help me take the bed down. I know your father told you some things, son, but this is the way it's got to be. You got no call to worry about getting whooped on my account. Idle hands are for Satan's getting. The Lord frowns on those just setting. Shoot. Sammy, are you gonna do what Mother says? I just hope the same's true of Father.
Mother? 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 Rufus says the new cows are here. What do you want me to tell him? Oh, Rufus. Tell him to take the cows and put them into the shed next to the old place. Tell him this ain't the barn no more. Tell him the pens got themselves a new house. Maybe. Hello, Nanny. Hello, Reverend. I'd like to talk to your mother. It's no bother. She's out back, Reverend. Sarah. I know why you've come all the way out here. Well, yes. But, Sarah. There's no use talking about it. 35 years ago, I was baptized in your church, and I've been going ever since. I got my own mind, and I go my own ways, and nobody but the Lord's going to dictate to me unless I'll have him. Would you like to go to the house for cool lemonade? Uh, oh, no, thank you. I believe I'm doing what's right. I made it a subject of prayer, and it's betwixt me and the Lord and Adam. And there's no call for nobody else to worry about it. Well, if you brought it to the Lord in prayer, there's nothing more a body can do. Good day, Sarah. Good day, Reverend.
What on earth y'all doing down here? Sammy, what's the matter with the house? We've come here to live, Father. Mother, what's this mean? Come on in here, Father. There's nothing to get upset about. That house wasn't fit for us no more. So I made up my mind I wasn't going to stay there. We've got just as much right as new horses and cows. And we're going to live right here. Adam, I've done my duty by you 19 years, and I'm going to keep on in this new house. And you're going to have to put in some windows and some partitions. And you're going to have to buy me some new furniture. So come on, come on over here and get washed up. I'm waiting supper on you. Sammy, you tell Rufus to tend to the horses. Nanny? Father? Aren't you going to ask a blessing? This and all other blessings of the Lord make us truly thankful.
Don't do so, Adam. I'll put up your windows and everything you want. I had no idea. I never meant to hurt you, Sarah. Thank you.